Right, Steve, well, we're out with you boys today, Morris Caulfield. Tell us a bit about what you do and where, where you guys are based. How are you? Welcome anyway, Tom. Um, I'm Steve Jordan from Morris Caulfields. I've been here 23 years, been three years on sales. Uh, we've uh, predominantly class dealer. We've been trading 67 years and uh, the main connection is class, we're, we're uh, Lemkin dealers. Uh, then there's, uh, we're with Schaefer, Bonford, Cherry, Stewart, Teagle. Historically, we were Zeta, Fent, Steyr, Valtra, Matbro, um, Rao, Coon, Amazon, Horsch in the past. And t tell us a bit about Caulfield. You've got a few bases set across quite, quite a, an area, haven't you? So where, where do you cover mainly? Yeah, well, we've got four dealerships, uh, one Herefordshire, one at Craven Arms, and this branch, Brosley, and, uh, which covers Shropshire, and then we've got the one up at Tarpley, which co covers Chester. And tell so, us a bit about your services and support, because Caulfields are quite famous for their, uh, the amount of stock they, uh, they keep on the shelves. If someone needs a part, they never leave empty-handed. So uh, you, you've got plenty stocked. Just run us through that, that side of the business. Yeah, we like to be well stocked. Um, if we order something, if a customer comes and we haven't got it, then we order two. So he has the first and we, the second one is on the shelf. Probably up to about £5 million worth of stock on the shelf. We were having a look around this morning. If someone needs a belt, you've got it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, old and new. <laughs> Tell us a bit about the workshops then, Steve. Well, the workshop here, we're running 15 mechanics, uh, probably the same amount of vans. Uh, there's probably 30 vans altogether uh, with all the dealers, the dealer network we've got. Um, yeah, we probably spend thousands, well, we do spend thousands on training. So when the guy comes, you know, he knows what he's on about. But we do have lads that specialise on a product. So when he comes, he knows it inside out, keeps the bills cheaper, he fixes it faster, finds the problems quicker. The fact that we're long serving members of staff, we're quite a settled dealership, and we've had the products we're selling, we've had for quite a long time, so there's no great shakes and big changes with us, um, which seems to be what's happening in the industry quite a lot. We're quite settled and confident in what we do. Due to the current climate, we have over-ordered with stock, um, which we have been waiting for, but it's all starting to arrive now, so we're very well stocked in a lot of our products, um, from drills to the Stewart trailers. We've currently got quite a lot of tractors in stock, which are sat waiting to go, really. So, um, Well, we'll have a look around a few of those now. Yeah. Cheers for having a chat with us today, Steve. It's been right nice out. to come out and see you, boys. We'll try and catch up again some point in the spring, maybe when you got a demo out. Yeah, right? we'll be about. Cheers. Right out. Cheers. Right, <laughs> Colin. Hi, Tom. <laughs> we have uh, we've come out to see see you today in the uh, in the Caulfield yard and have a look around a few of these machines. Yeah. Just tell us a little bit about yourself and um, you work for Class. I do work for Class, Tom. Yes. Uh, so we're here in the heart of rural Shropshire, um, pretty much in the centre of my area. So I'm a regional sales manager for Class, um, and have been for about twelve years. I've actually worked for Class for about 16 years. Um, originally, I was based in the head office, and I moved out to Shropshire in um, 2011. So right. okay. I look after Caulfields from a sales point of view, and um, I have a guy that also covers uh, the service aspect of the of the job. But um, I cover all products, so I'm not just tractors or combines. I cover uh, every product um, and give sales support to the guys at Caulfields um, product knowledge and um, and yeah de help on deals and, and stuff like that really so um, so yeah that's basically right. what I do and really. Caulfields have got a few nice machines in yeah, the so yard Caulfields, today so um, <coughs> have a look around for you some of these absolutely so obviously uh, Brosley is Caulfields uh, main depot and um, like class Mo Morris Caulfields are family owned business and um, our relationship with them goes back to um, 60 years to when they sold, so, sold their first class combine. Um, <clears throat> of course, class uh, has grown. Originally, um, just being a harvesting business, um, our product range has grown over the years where we um, incorporated uh, mowers and green harvest machines. 
then forage harvesters in the 70s and now um, we offer a complete line of products um, for Morris Caulfields and our larger dealers to sell. So um, yeah, we've got full range of tractors here. Uh, we have got some telehandlers and, um, and wheeled loaders which have been added to the range uh, in latter years. So, um, so yeah, so a complete range of tractors. Uh, after 12 months of um, supply issues, which has been commonplace for every manufacturer, um, we're now starting to see the tractors uh, the, that ease slightly. So. Um, yeah, we've got a few here today okay. that we'd like to just yeah. have, a, have a look around yeah. really. So, no problem. as you can see, we have got a full uh, full lineup parked out the front here. Um, starting with our smaller smaller range tractor here, the 400 series. So that tractor runs from about 90 horsepower up to uh, 160. Um, we run a four-cylinder engine in there, mainly at, uh, aimed at the sort of stockman stroke mixed. Uh, farmer market so you can have a fairly low spec like this one is uh, right up to a to a one with cab suspension and electric spool valves and and so on really um, obviously as we go up through the ranges um, we go Arium 5 and 600 so that that range comes in either a four cylinder or a, or a six cylinder tractor again we start at about uh, 125 horsepower with the 500 series and uh, we run right up to the um, 660 which is a 205 horsepower uh, with a boost um, and we'll uh, have, a, have a look at that specific tractor a bit later on okay um, probably one of the things as well that we've um, we've introduced over the last couple of years is the limited edition suite so uh, these tractors here now uh, obviously paint finished in the gunmetal gray there uh, there is other colors so we can have a metallic green and a black beauty style finish on them so, um, and we can order those direct from the factory with those um, color schemes to them. Um, you can either have the paint only option, which these ones are, or you can have a, um, the, the limited edition cab spec. So you end up with, uh, with a lot of extra features in the cab really. So, and, um, and then moving on to the end one there. So we've got the Axion 800 series, which takes us up to 300 horsepower, uh, six cylinder FPT engines in there and um and that's really our uh, we do a 900 series on top not overly sold we have got a few of them out in the in the counties around here but um but the 900s would be our flagship with a terra track option and, and stuff like that really so um so we have the 800 series on the end there which uh, yeah yeah that's what it it does really so full range here today to uh to choose from so we've got the 660 out here, Colin. Yep. You're going to have a 360, have a quick look we'll around a, this one? We'll have a look around. I mean, the real push for us um, going forward, as you can see on my jacket here, Seamatic uh, Experience Centre. So we've put a bit of investment in at our head office in Suffolk. Um, we've now got a test track down there where you can come down and have a um, driving experience on our Seamatic tractors and really uh, that is where the push is from. So the 660 is an important tractor for us really, or the Arian 600 with the Seamatic transmission is, because it's our own built transmission. So where we've had components from other manufacturers to make the tractor product, um, more and more we've got this drive to, to incorporate our own uh, engineering into the, into the thing. So the transmission is built in our purpose-built unit in Paderborn in Germany. Uh, it's where the combine transmissions, track systems, uh, whole, um, corn cracker rollers and stuff are, are made. So a totally in-house operation to the high standard that um, class would look for with the, with the components we source really. So 660, this is the top of the 600 series range. Um, <clears throat> as I touched on before, she's a uh, 185 horsepower with a power boost to 205 horsepower. In the front end, we have the uh, Deer Power Systems engine, um, 6.8 litre. Um, and as we probably might as well show you, so um, again, the, the Deer fans amongst you will notice that there's, uh, it's pretty much exactly the same uh, engine unit that's used in the, um, in the R series as far as the hardware goes. However, we um, build our own software uh, and maps to suit our uh, requirements. So although the hardware is very similar to what you would see, um, the actual uh, the, the software and stuff is, is married to suit our transmissions and get the maximum fuel economy and so on out of these, these tractors. We also use our own cooling pack. So again, a, di a difference from what you might see in other colors. So we have a foldable cooling pack at the front 
Um, and uh, generally, obviously now we have to comply with tier five regulations. So we've got the afterburner uh, and AdBlue on this um, tractor as well, which is, uh, which is uh, some may see as a necessary evil, but it's something that we have to um, comply with. At the front of the tractor here, so latterly we've uh, gone away from our original four-point suspension that people with older class tractors will know to a, a new uh, in-house two-point front axle suspension. Uh, we have on this tractor 50k, so we're fully braked front axles as well. Um, the beauty with this is that we've um, cut down on the maintenance points. I think there was something like 34 uh, grease nipples on a on the older style system. Again, we're trying to make it simpler for the operator as the generations of tractors have gone on. This one here is fitted with a fully integrated factory front linkage. So you can either have a three ton or a four ton front linkage. And if so desired, uh, you can have a front PTO in the, in the center there. Although this one obviously hasn't, uh, hasn't got that fitted. Round to the side then. So um, obviously this one's fitted on uh, 600 uh, front tires and the, and the 650, 75, 38 tires. We can have um, 650, 42s under the panel work as well. So a total range of um, tire options. Under the step then, so we have a fully uh, integrated toolbox and so on. So keeping the storage away from the cab. Uh, so you're not tripping over all the, all the bits and pieces rattling around in the, in the cab. And obviously access to the battery and so on there if uh, if so required or if you need to jump jump start the scraper tractor or something like that in the in the winter months <laughs> in the middle of the tractor we had the um the c the c-matic class c-matic transmission at the back end we then use a gema um back axle again so obviously as you'd expect um this one's fitted with four spool valves uh, on the 600 series four at the rear is maximum. You can have mid-mount spool valves through to the front. Um, <clears throat> hydraulic flows uh, range from 110 liters a minute to 150 liters a minute, depending on what your um, what your requirement is. So uh, we can spec different options to to uh, to suit uh, from there. Obviously, all the UK standard stuff like the pickup hitch and so on, all factory fitted, factory integrated, and as you'd expect in the on a modern tractor now um, all your um, uh, functions on the rear mudguard of the tractor are close to hand so that we can uh, hitch up and, and go from there. Probably the bit that's um, worth talking about here is that we're still using our um, painted four point cab suspension on the tractor which gives it um, excellent uh, ride quality on the road. So we have two points at the back and then underneath the cab in a minute, you'll see that we've got two points at the front. The important thing with this system is that we actually have torsion bars built in as well. So the suspension of the tractor is in the up and down plane rather than side to side. So you don't get seasick when you, even though it's um, fully suspended on the four points, it keeps the um, cab nice and rigid and suspends it in the plane that when you're in the sat in the seat that you want it to um, go on. And, and to be fair, that's probably one of the big, um, big plus points for us is the, is the ride comfort that, um, of the class tractor really. On the access to the cab, so we have um, fuel filler that which, which is obviously easy to access and obviously our tier five, as I said before, we have our AdBlue um, filling point under the step there. So um, as I say, we've had to comply with that. Some of the little features that have come along the way. So um, we've got an airline there so that you can um, blow your cab out or blow your tires up on a on an implement or something like that. So um, a few little bits and pieces around the tractor that are, that are really um, geared for the operator and, and in mind, really. Right, run us through the luxuries of it then, Colin. So here we are, we're inside a nice four, uh, four point suspended uh, comfy cab. So uh, this one's actually fitted with, the, um, for, with a semi-active uh, comfort seat as well. I've also got my nice leather steering wheel, which, uh, which has been introduced into the range in the last couple of years. Um, fully integrated armrest over to my right hand side so pretty much all my main functions for the tractor are, are, are to hand um, I've got my linkage lift and lower um, I can have a either a left hand reverser or a right hand reverser on the on the button here and then inside the transmission function so effectively um, although it's a CVT transmission I've got three 
theoretical speed ranges that I can choose between. Depending on the nature of the job that I'm doing and the precision that I want, I can choose a different range to give me different options to, to do what I do. In this transmission, the, the, the ranges that are inside it are totally automatic. So I don't have to select a gear one or a gear two. I can literally drive from 0 to 50K in the top range. And it doesn't matter whether I'm pulling a cultivator under heavy load or whether I'm doing 50K on the road. Um, I don't need to do anything other than just put my foot on the foot pedal and drive if that's what I want to do. If I want to change the mode between just driving with the foot pedal, I just press this button here and then I can drive it with a drive stick. So effectively we have all the same features as you would expect on most of the other um, uh, manufacturers in the market really. So we're, we're not lacking anything as far as the, the, the functionality of the transmission goes. Most of my bits and pieces are done through the touch screen here. So I've got my Cebus um, touch screen, um, which is also ISA bus as well. So I can plug my implements into the back, run the implements through the screen and um, and that's uh, that's fine all hydraulic spool valve functions um, I can change flows times uh, and lock them off etc um, so pretty much everything done through through this nice control terminal here if I wanted to go as far as having GPS steering I've got my ports here so this tractor steering ready um, we, we could then introduce a class's own steering system so the screens not dissimilar to the size of this one here mounts onto the onto the pillar there and basically um, as I say we've got our own steering system which is fully um, supported in-house uh, with a range of signals so we've got our um, SAT core which would be our call it 15 centimeter accuracy and we can go right down to two to three center accuracy with the RTK so um, so yeah that's that's that really some of my linkage control functions in the back of the cab, PTO speed selection is all on, on the buttons there, nice and easy, just touch the button and go. And um, yeah, that's pretty much cool. Brilliant, cool. well, cheers for sharing this round today anyway, Colin. That's all right. Uh, it's been a good look around the machines. And uh, like I say, we'll hopefully come out and see you boys when we've got some Yeah, well, maybe we get some uh, get, get out with some customers in that's the summertime and, yeah. uh, and see where, we, where we're Brilliant, cheers. Up to. Thank all you right, very Tom. much. Thanks very much.